Hey guys, it's Viger, and I hope you brought yourself a decently sized bucket of popcorn with you, and maybe a good drink, because this is going to be a long one. I already know this preemptively because I did the math that this is probably going to be a two hour plus video that we're going to be needing to do, so this is going to be wonderful, and I will say this, it's going to be a hell of an upload that we're going to need to do. So if the title wasn't anything to go off of, yes, I am a complete masochist, and we're going to be watching the entirety of the first season of Hell of a Boss in one single sitting. And this is going to be just an interesting little thing, because not only have you guys been saying, hey, you should check this show out and everything, I have a little purple-haired gremlin speaking evil thoughts into my ears over discord most of the time and now she gave me a financial incentive to do this as well so i really am being held hostage <laughs> what are you gonna do anyway but before we do that quick change though and we'll just take care of that as well so, with all of that being said, like I said before, we are going to go through a lot of suffering right now, as far as just, like, length is concerned, because this Catholic soy boy here is going to be intro introduced to a hell of a show, if I do say so myself. So, with that being said, we are going to be, I guess, reacting to the entire first season of Hell of a Boss. So, yeah, I don't really think I need to go anywhere further than this. We're just going to deep dive right in. All right, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? True. Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? I don't know. Good times. I That's don't a need big any yikes. reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. One that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, yeah, that might be a problem. Me, what's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you going to crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir, because right now all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me. <laughs> my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I, what? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie. After I made you employee of the month. <laughs> Couldn't have okay, got a better sir. picture. <laughs> I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I'm the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? <laughs> After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my Gosh. surprise when I wound up here. After the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that. Ohio will do that to a man, I guess. The body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. Ah, I see what the acronym means now. The immediate murder professionals. We do our job so well. Kill your husband Yikes. Right away, we'll even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder profession. <laughs> wow. Doctor, he's not responding. Oh, what a stat. It didn't do anything. Damn it. I'm not losing another one. Clear! 
Holy shit, it actually worked. <laughs> cool, they're just to be chilling in stable there. Condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Kids die for free. I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... Do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, IMP. We're at Pago Stamp. Go look. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I. Oh. Then I don't want it. Damn. Ah, I'm sorry, my spiders. God damn it. Uh, excuse me. Did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why? Why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. Whoever left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam. Ah! Wow. Blitz, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. He sounds a little DTF-y. Oh, God, it was one time! And if I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. You what? Hmm? <laughs> got the book, got the book, got this fucking heavy book. Oh, oh, shit! Wonderful. Sorry, I fucked your husband. <laughs> I heard you already! No, oh, what can I do you for this time, Stolas? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. True. And it gets lonely here. Mm. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. <laughs> when I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your sad and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and <laughs> with more teeth until you're screaming <laughs> like a fucking baby. Oh, yeah, we're gonna just put that one on hold. <laughs> Eat this. And then you know that bridge over the freeway? Yeah? Shit off it. <laughs> the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family. They're still in that no, bit. That's what this family. whole bit was about. a family, sir. <laughs> you are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman you let man the phones. That is offensive. Without homeless people, oh, that's I offensive. have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. <laughs> While we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you give me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? Why isn't he? Jesus. What you dreaming about? <laughs> I was dreaming my parents were being murdered. But now, I'd like to go back to that. Of all the ifs in hell, it's for him, him that I fell. fell. Oh, Millie. Are you fucking filming <laughs> us right now? Just stop doing that. <laughs> I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener haver? Sir, <laughs> what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. Calm down, Mox. You're going to have another panic attack. I am calm. <laughs> there, there. Look, I don't uh. judge the boring couple stuff you do outside of work hours, so don't judge me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. 
Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. Mm. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am. You guys sensitive. Are fucking assholes. This kid's still oh, here. Shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. <laughs> you are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Even the creepy ones. Hey, now, that's not very. If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my Damn. husband you're talking to. <laughs> that's your husband? I figured you for a slut, but I didn't know you needed dick that bad. And you. What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Great. He is good. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Hmm. Huh. Well, Christ on a stick, I guess there is a god. <laughs> Damn! You know, folks, with this company, I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else can. Like killing people. So from us here at the Immediate Murder Professionals Group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. <laughs> you know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Please, if anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us and fall. Here you go. Oh. You're welcome. Don't mind him. Oh, what a thrill when the crimson starts to spill. And my Millie goes in. How does this go? <laughs> she takes away my breath. She's the angel of death for me. Oh, Millie. She's my queen. It's like a dream. When I hear her victim start to scream. <laughs> in and out of the sack. She's the maniac for me. Oh, Millie, when the blood starts dripping down the walls drip, drip, drip. and the bodies start to fall, Good. my heart. What a song! What a love beat. song! When my Millie's guns are blazing in the heat, bang, bang, bang. my sass in love, she makes the murder and fun for me. A lot of of all the incidents. Where does Blitz show up in this? That I fell. Okay, I guess Blitz just doesn't show up then. <laughs> so now we move on to the actual first episode. I was good my entire life. Good morning! I hope you all did your homework. We love to do How does this just spin? Then when I throw out these fun questions, you should know just what to do. Two plus six is and good behavior is, and it's now that part of the class when we say the time of day and date. It's nine in the morning on January 8th. The sun is out spring. And it's your husband's birthday. La 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 Where does this spin happen? Oh, my stars? Stop singing, children. Hush up now. I forgot it's my husband's birthday. I didn't get him anything special. Maybe if we call him, we could do a happy birthday surprise. Okay. Oh yeah, right, right there. You, we're not There's the spin. Right there. Oh yeah, That's right actually there. Right there. My asshole. But I don't care. Yeah, yeah, not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Okay. Yeah. Wait, Excuse her one moment. Berries. Remember what you taught us? Think before you act. Yikes. Shut up, Gerald! You scream like a bitch! Oh god, what have you 
you done? She had a family. We could have had a family. <laughs> oh, dear God, what have I done? In front of you all. I'm so sorry, my children. Don't forget to work on your time stable. <laughs> there it is. You do everything right in life. Play by all the rules. And still get sent down here with all the Hitlers and Epsteins of the world. <clears throat> After one measly massacre propelled by blind rage. So that's why I'm here. To get my revenge. I mean, was she hotter? I'm just saying, I had a hard time understanding the unprompted melodrama you just spat at me, tits. Anyway, I don't think you quite understand how we're operating down here. See, we take revenge out on the living, and it sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of a death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Not all of them. That whore survived. Now they all call her a hero. How does it feel to have survived such a crazy bitch? I just hope that sick woman finally found peace. You are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Wow. Oh, thank you. But wow. The talk shows and donation bullshit, she made so much goddamn cash. Getting shot was the best thing to happen to her. You're a hero. You're a hero, girl. My mama's a hero. She is a hero. God, it's just You're sickening. A You're a hero. You're a hero. Oh, 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 you're a hero. She is not a hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Foxy, stop shaking. You're gonna shoot our only hail hand. Wow, I feel so loved here. <laughs> Just take a deep breath and laid it out. But it's a family. Under what circumstances would we ever need to kill a human family? I mean, if that's what the client wants. Maybe like a shitty dad. Or a mob family. That's understandable. But to eradicate an entire innocent, seemingly in this instance, upper middle class family bloodline? Hey, you don't know they're innocent. This kid probably sets dogs on fire. Maybe mm. this girl gets off to bullying Australian kids online and Oddly this specific. guy... This guy definitely watches. Exactly. Humans are full of secret nasties. It's why so many of them end up here. But guilty and innocent aren't our business, Mox. Killing who we're paid to is our business. Shoot the target. She's kind of got a point. I just think it's a bit excessive, and we could be a bit more selective, is all. Guys, I want you to meet. <laughs> now you hit the target. Our newest client. I just bought those eels. Oh, that's what you're worried about. Bye, and don't worry, we'll get that skank in less than 24 hours, or your first kill is free. When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! <laughs> someone please tell me that fancy book is still intact! You mean our only ticket to the other side? Yeah, got it. And that's why you're my favorite, Looney. You get a tweet now. Ew, stop. That. Uh, oh. You're so gross. Aw, oh, stop it. I get enough of that from my therapist. Now let's go Yikes. kick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. Blitz. Mine's better. Oh, fuck. All right, time to get to work. That's gotta be her. <laughs> this is too easy. Moxie, do you want this one? Me? Yeah, this one's simple enough for you to handle. It's just a happy mother who just got out of the hospital. Snooze you lose, Mox. And I got you, bitch. Wait, are we actually killing a family? No, don't be a puss. We're just killing a mother. Just one. We're ruining a family. But, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's just think about it. <laughs> what was that, Ralphie? I don't know, Martha. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, my eyes close. They're going to be a Marlo Knight's dinner. All right, kids. Guns out. Looks like we got some Interesting. This turned this. again. Now it's a little bit more justified. <laughs> I'm sorry. They just seem so wholesome and happy. I panicked. Oh, who the fuck is innocent, Moxie? From the moment of birth, you're already a parasite leeching off your mama's tits. Get the fuck over yourself, you baby dick. A new hole. Scatter. 
Yeah, they're a slightly deranged. Don't worry, she knows what she's doing. I guess not. Oh! Well, hello, little ones. Aren't you cute? It's nice to have, have a new critter to play with. Play with. Not so wholesome anymore now, are they? Just take give it up. A hot take on that. Crumbs. Some cannibals we got going on here. Okay. follow up on our last little conversation regarding my grimoire. What did you just call me? My book, Blitzy. The book I was given to do my job that I have allowed you to use to do yours. I can hear you, darling. Shit. Anywho, I have been thinking. You know, I have been permitting you to access the mortal realm less than legally for some time now but i do need it back to fulfill my duties i was thinking what is your we duties worked out some kind of exchange favors for favors doesn't that sound enticing you gotta stop using your fancy ass rich people talk okay i'm trying to concentrate i'm not getting fucked in my a then let me keep it simple once a month on the full moon you return the book to me followed by a night of Passionate fornication. <laughs> and you get to keep it all the rest of the time, hmm? Sound fair, my little imp? Fine, whatever! Oh, Blitz, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to feel your slimy c inside of my Please stop! <laughs> Please stop, Stolas! Come to drag me and my kin to hell. Well, not today, Satan! Gonna send y'all back where he came from! Billy! Come on, Moxie. What is your work? I guess cannibals. That's their work. Yeah, that's not exactly how it works, ladies. Sorry, your fire doesn't really hurt us, but I mean, I could fake it if that'll get your dick hard. No. Shit. Well, I'll just shoot you in your smart ass mouth. That would be more effective. Blitz! <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. You're not getting your goddamn paycheck for this one, Mox. He doesn't care about you. Oh yeah, thanks. I'm fine. I'm sorry, sir. I compromised our objective and put us in harm's way. It won't happen again. I promise. Apology accepted. I feel like it'll happen again. Pull a stunt like this again. I will fuck you and your wife. All righty, job well done. Jeez. Now let's get off. Hey, yeah, give me a moment. I need to get something I left at the house. Okay, fine, but hurry up. Luna, we're ready to come home, dear. What did you forget? <laughs> He's still going. He's still going. Awesome. Pistols. <laughs> Kill us? I should. 
you people are monsters. But you should have a chance at a life and a purpose. Look at your children. They have their whole future ahead of them. You are going to face your crimes justly. I will call your earthly authorities, and they will make sure you are dealt with fairly. I'm I feel like that's not going to work. My way. Oh, shit. Uh, do you, uh, do you have a phone to summon 911? Yeah, it's in the kitchen. Then, what is this for? It's a universal remote. Got it for the kids. Aww. There he is. Have a good wank-off session, Moxie. Excuse me? Look, I don't care where you come in the living world. Just <coughs> come to your job on time, all right? See you at the office. You doing okay, sweetie? Better now, honey. I think I just needed a minute to process. You have a good heart, honey. Just a fuzzy head. Uh. We got him, boys. <laughs> Oops. Hey, not your fault. Excessive police force. Wow, what a banner. Here's to another mission accomplished, and Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up. But I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, fuck that family. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, we're just gonna skippity doo dah right over to episode two. Skippity doo dah Lulu land. Calling us, Stella. Uh, you get up. <sighs> Here, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! I had a dream. A really bad dream. <sighs> a nightmare. I was looking all over the palace, and I couldn't find you anywhere. You weren't there. There, there, Via. It's okay. You're okay. When you're scared, and you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. Just don't interrupt him when he's with Blitz. As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign that you'll be okay. Everything will be okay. And if the seven rains collapse, although For an absolute degenerate, he's a wonderful father. Hold that thought. Another moment looking at your pathetic imp sucking face! 
Not a fan of her. Whoever that is. Good morning, Octavia. Did you sleep well, my owlet? That's not a serious question. Mm -hmm. What's that you're listening to? This song is called My World is Burning Down Around Me. It's by Fuck You, Dad. Yikes. Band. Oh, how charming. So are you two done screaming for the day? Um. Give it an hour or you two. You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. I'd rather kill myself. There we go. <laughs> Anything but staying in this house. Now, I'll arrange our security. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. <laughs> we want our money and our bodies. Oh, Damn. Baby. <laughs> Speak for yourself, princess. Now, I'm calling the only man who can f*** me. <laughs> who can protect me? Us. Being part of the Goetia family is rather valuable. <laughs> God. <laughs> You're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three-way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, boys. Why, hello, my big dead blitzy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. <laughs> Does not care <laughs> at the slightest bit. I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. <laughs> For my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, 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 no. I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! <laughs> Simple! Eminem, get in here. We're going to Lululand. Lululand? I kind of had a feeling she'd be. <laughs> Damn. Now remember, this is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? Hey, Dad. Do we have to? Okay, yeah, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, <laughs> I swear to you, are so cute when you are serious. I'm literally gonna be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacids, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, <laughs> old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but she said it was literal. Wow, I haven't been to this place since I was a child. Damn. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh, look, it's big. <laughs> that is deeply upsetting. Oh, come on. It's fun. You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me. Especially the mascots. Well, hey there. I can agree to that. Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lululand. If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. <laughs> Look, Thea, it's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to fiddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. <laughs> I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he in hell? <laughs> you really like this place, huh? I love this place! My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it. Money-wise. Yeah. The prices do seem rather criminal. I mean... That much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lulu Land! Listen to your hoe, Mox. <laughs> the habit I take the first watch while you two have a little fun. Ooh! We gotta do my favorite ride! Oh yeah? Which, which one? The most dangerous one. <laughs> Funnel cakes and infinite suffering. Wonderful. And 
we got some sketchy people. You know, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch. I'm working. You both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. <laughs> what? I just said I'm not one, prude. <laughs> oh, look, feel. You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, no. I don't think those were tears of joy. Clown. Oh, Blitzy! I need my bodyguard, please. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> She's gonna do that casually, I guess. Hey, 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 please! It's me, the robotic Bizarrelli, shipped from Big Ozzy's factory to bring you a wonderful show celebrating Lulu Land's spell with those. Remember this character intimately from VR chat. Surprisingly, it's not a five-year-old being a racist. Win a thing. A thing. <laughs> oh, you like that thing? Yes. I don't really know what that thing is, but I want that thing. <sighs> just even the tag I just says thing. Thing I can handle. Okay. One game, please. Ow! Strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. So yeah, no go, bro. I mean, would a carny game ever be honest, even if it was in hell? Ah, the heaven's wrong with this thing. Oh man, a real shame, I tell you. Ah. I'll just shoot that guy. Another. I sing along with the Lulu band, every boy, every <laughs> Tap out. Oh, how delightful. <laughs> Shot that guy real quick. What good aim you have, Blitzy. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Wait. Octavia. <laughs> oh, is that Litzo my sensor spot of air? I guess the kitties are still running away from you. <laughs> oh, it's silent now. Uh, just like your audience always was when you told your lazy jokes here. <laughs> Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester. <laughs> Someone salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? No, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! And here it goes. <laughs> Wonderful. This place is gonna go up in smoke now. Wow, man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. Guess you won't win your honey here a prize. Let me try. Oh, look at that. Lucky shot. Baby. Are you kidding me? You, you, you charlatan! Hey, uh, get lost, Pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. <laughs> there you go. Sir? Oh, hey, guys. You should probably go, uh, make sure Skullis is okay. I've got some unfinished business to take care of. <laughs> yeah. Just let him do his thing. It's fine. Oh, what a mouth. <laughs> Does she get her thing? God damn it, Nathan! You ruined another bloody photo! <laughs> Why were you even born? Octavia? Damn. Leave me alone! Octavia! Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. 
There. Oh, that's better. Where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... Busy being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. That <laughs> don't worry, it's fine. Mm. Octavia. I take it you are not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other. My dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Via. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, uh, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. Mm. You ruined it. You need to understand. Your mother and I, I just, I felt she's always been, I haven't been, ha, we weren't in, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't have the words. Are you going to run off with him and leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you? What? No. No, no, never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> so. What would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Coles? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank mm. you. Ah! Way to ruin another good thing, sir. <laughs> Worth it. That slutty toy clown had it coming. <laughs> Just needs to sort that out real quick. Next episode! Third one in the road! We're still just gonna keep going. I love this song! The world's my feet! Double team! The Who? Let's so. I should have known you'd be here. I can smell fish for miles, which is odd because I believe the nearest ocean is three <laughs> rings down. And I should have known you'd be here when I heard the amber alerts. Oh, yeah. Yikes! I'm surprised you let your fat ass out of rehab. I can see you're still a drunken whore, clutching onto that Bielsa juice bottle like it's the last cock in hell. They let me out because I'm still famous, and rehab is for sad loser wash-ups. So your sister says hi. Why are you parking here? This is the only parking spot my company has, so take your tampon race car somewhere else. Actually, prick, it has my name on it. I'm doing a bit of freelance for one of the infinitely more successful companies in the building. No way. And they wanted way. to have me come in this week to lead their team during spring break. A week? Uh, no, no, you mm. are not parking here for a fucking week. Aw, you mad blitzo. You gonna run off, leaving someone else to pay for the hotel room, steal their car and run, run three rings to rap, and max and my credit cards on, on shitty, shitty horse, horse riding, riding lessons? lessons? God damn it, whore, you will not let that go. Choke on a sandpaper cock. Yeesh. Hold on! You better move that pussy wagon right now, or I'm gonna... You're gonna do what? Or I'll, um, uh, I'll call HR. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's even laughing about it. Hellhound, Vortex. Unlike you, he actually does his job well. Ta-ta, Foxstain. Ugh, I wasted so much time with a bag of holes like that. You know Verasica Mayday? Huh? Oh, yeah, I heard. Yeah, we dated. Was it before or after she became a pop star? You dated a pop star! Okay, why are you all acting like that's such a shock? Hello, it's Verasica Mayday. It's you? Yeah, I was just about to say, it's him. Is she blind? 
suffering some form of brain damage. Okay, look, you are all making this into a way bigger deal than it needs to be. I don't pry into your stupid personal lives. You do that! Yeah, on the reg! <laughs> sex with her like. Billy! What? It's a pop star. You'd want to know what sex with Michael Crawford was like. Touche. Okay, look, let's just drop it. <laughs> Millie, find a temporary spot for that truck. Okay, Louis. I'm just going to ignore the fact that there's a tank parked in the, in the, in the parking lot there. Make up shitty today. Oh, you look perfect, Looney. Like always. Shut up, Jack. Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, big man. Where's your bitch bag of an employer? She's in her office. There wasn't room on the sucking floor, so they rented one here on this one. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, no, you don't, bitch. Sir, how about you let me go in and try to reason with her? I don't really listen to what's classified as pop genre music. <laughs> so her status to me is name recognition alone. <laughs> Nothing but the dial tone going right through his head. Of... Shut the fuck up. Alrighty then. <laughs> Hello, Miss Verasica, was it? I work for Imp. And it is actually rather important for us to retain the singular parking space we were assigned because... Aw, look at the little one. He's got a widow bow tie. Please don't condescend me, ma'am. I... Wanna kiss you, little guy? <laughs> a kind offer, but I'm married. Hey, why don't you send a little message from me back to your limp dick boss? <laughs> Yikes. Foxy, don't let her access any of your holes! <laughs> I, I gotta go lie down now. <laughs> oh, Just on the floor there. Stand. <laughs> All right, that's it. If you're gonna be shitty to my employees, then I challenge you to a fucking challenge. Fuck, I said that twice. <laughs> is this imp boy starting a demon duel? I think he is. What's the game then, Blitzo? Every year, you STD spreaders go up topside for easy pickings, while spring break is a prime time for crime of all kinds. So I bet you suck, you bitches, can't fuck as many people as we can off by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. Mm. Game on, bitch. All right, shut your assholes. Here's how we're going to do this shit. First, we find a fuck ton of clients. We portal up. We have our fun murder time as per usual. We pile all the bodies into a big fucking canoe. We push said canoe into the boat water. name. We light it on fire to attract the sharks and eagles and shit. Maybe a goose too. Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe a goose. Who knows? We win the bet. We rub it in that sloppy bitch's drunken whore ass face. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Why was that nonsense? That wasn't a question. That wasn't a plan. I'm sorry, but that was a flawless presentation of what we should do, Mox. It's not my fault you got a smooth little brain upstairs. A what now? I'm calling you slow, Moxie. God, why don't you learn to take criticism, you talentless baby dick troll? Well, why don't you take an art class? Why don't you see how expensive they are? Hey, is there a way I can come with you guys this time? Absolutely not. I forbid it. Not gonna happen. Sorry, sweetie. Spring break is no place for young, vulnerable goth girls. You know the kind of freaks up there who drool all over. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can blend in easy enough. Just let me tag along. Wait, say that again. I can blend in? Do you have a human disguise? Yeah, don't you? You three have been screwing around on Earth this whole fucking time without human disguises? Okay, new plan. <laughs> we can help lure the humans to us, and we'll take care of the rest. Okay, how about that? Flawless logic. I think you're missing the biggest issue, sir. Isn't it crucial to have a client who demands enough kills to win this bet? We aren't just going up to massacre. I got that covered, Mox. Now we wait. Sir, one. There is no way we are going to get enough clients by the end of the day with one poorly spelled bad grammar flyer. Hmm. <laughs> Guess it now, worked. Who's first? Now remember, it's just pounding NBC, pills. All right, and loose shots will likely cause a panic, so Luna can help with leading targets to a better spot to off them. You got the list, Looney. <laughs> got it. Oh, Looney, look at you. You look 
downright awful. I am so proud. Now fetch! Damn. Working fast. That's nine kills in the bag. I'd like to see that whaley snatch orgasm that many. Yeah, I think it's gonna work really well. God, they are so weak willed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everybody just. God damn it! That bitch started her goatish mating call. Now she's gonna win all these sex maniacs. We gotta pick things up, guys. Is he on the loop, Looney? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Good. Whoa, whoa. What are you? A leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yikes. Sure shit ain't gonna tell nobody. All right, next one, Looney. Come on. Looney. Yeah, uh, slight baby? problem. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No. Now, who wants a piece of this? Uh oh. Hey, you. Oh, hey. You're the hound working for my boss's freaky ex. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if that's weird. It's cool. Her beef ain't mine. I'm not paid enough to care. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm I like only... that he's pretty chill. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Vortex! <laughs> That's hot. I mean, like, literally, you know, because Vortex is, you know, they give off heat. Probably, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess. But my friends call me Tex. Oh, yeah? I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't, I, 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 I don't have friends. Am I interrupting something? Nah, man, just having a conversation. Conversation yeah. left to HPV. And we've lost him. <sighs> it's looking like it's up to us to handle this list. Hell yeah. Team him and them are getting shit done. Making mm. the money. Time to get to work. <laughs> Jesus. Let's get the fuck out of here. You're gonna get us all into shit. I just wanted to see what was so important that you'd be distracted from your job. What? I can't have a break? We have a parking spot on the line! <laughs> That's all this is about. Why don't you chill out? Why don't you stay out of it? Okay, this is our business. Literally. Oh, fuck, Blitz! Why can't you stay out of my face for like five minutes? Because I adopted you! And that should mean something! Oh, what does it matter? You're not my real dad! I was almost 18! It still counts! <laughs> well, it shouldn't! I didn't need you then, asshole! I don't now! Mm. <laughs> Damn! I wonder what's uh, gonna happen with him. I'm Enjoy your break, Looney. I'm gonna go kill something. <laughs> uh, Damn, girl, that was savage. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Mm, don't He'll worry get about over it. it. He always does. <laughs> I'm glad you can stick up for yourself at least. Mm, takes guts. Thanks.
He's a little bit out of it. Hey, hey, where did you get four heads? I wanna kiss him. <laughs> he is sloshed, but not as sloshed as that. Yikes. gonna need you real quick. It's gonna be one hell of a kill, I'm just gonna say. Shoot him real quick. I love that woman. <laughs> she totally pegs you, doesn't she? Damn. Decent, I guess. This is funny. I'm so drinking. God, he is out of it. Okay, this is too wholesome for my liking. Blitzo. Oh, perfect. That must be the whores. That was handled rather obvious, don't you think? I don't think this belonged to any of us. Would be a shame if anyone found out you guys were behind a giant monster fish in the human world. <laughs> oh, Satan! <laughs> You've all been so fucked. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of got a point. You three nasty ass gremlins will be in shit for not being in disguises. A human called me a possum. I am not a possum. <laughs> you know, we could keep this little B movie scene on the down low. If you could let us use that parking space. Fine. We fucking won! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! In your face, bitch! Come on, let's get out of here. Tex! Well, guess it's time to bounce. But hey. If you're ever down to party, I'll give you a ring sometime. Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend throws a ton of crazy hound parties. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Can't wait for my first one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you some friends, girl. Come on, Lou. Bam. Lady. Let's go back and park our fat fucking car in our fat fucking space. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands up, you sick deviants! All right, sluts, get ready to suck a lot of pig dick. Uh. <laughs> Next! Four! Well, howdy, I'm Cletus. Welcome to heaven. Guess you did something good to get here, and good people deserve to give loved ones special blessings. Why do I finally <laughs> see it? <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. When your face is turning blue. Well, luckily for you, there's something we can do. We can help keep them Why do I suddenly feel sick to my stomach? And that's saying a lot with the crucifix hanging behind me. <laughs> Give me another mox. <laughs> There's another CRT. And now 
Yeah, not feeling it. Next! Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. I say, I say, are you looking to get work making crazy contraptions and goofy gadgets? Well, call me at Wacky Wally Watford's Wacky Idea Factory, where you make the things that make money. Please, I'm very desperate. <laughs> Bingo! Woo, Just stop the shooting the TVs! Hey guys, do you feel that? Oh shit, is that a hell shake? That's possible. All right! Don't panic, Moxie! I'm not panicking, because hellquakes don't happen. Stop getting hysterical, fatty! <laughs> Jeez. Do not be afraid. And please tell me you got that insurance thing. Who are you and what do you want? I am Loopy Goofy, dastardly inventor of all things loopy and loopish. You could have just used the door, dude. Doesn't need to be this whole thing. Oh, yeah. I am eccentric and must therefore do eccentric shit. I can also see that too. Oh, fuck reeks of the living world. Did you just die? Yes, moments ago, in fact, which is what brought me here. Just saying, the front door would have gotten you here fine. Shut up, dear furry. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to kill. Not even a shit's length of time in hell and already plotting revenge. I can respect a man with that sort of passion. I'm Blitz, the O is silent. What? Oh. Oh, thank you. Now, what's the T, sis? The T? Guys, help! Yeah, why are we killing this guy? I mean, what did he do to you? Oh, He was <laughs> my business partner. You see, I was not always an old man. My partner, Lyle, and I ran Lyle Luffy Robotics, the technological empire. Earlier today, we Damn. were testing a new machine intended to stop or reverse the aging process. It could have saved all three trillionaires. Unfortunately, <laughs> we neglected to test the machine on the poor, like we usually do. Damn. We were too sure of our own genius, but the machine was accidentally set forward. Why do you make that out, if it's a de-aging machine? It was too late, at least for me. Now that evil son of a bitch is going to take over the empire we built together. Without me to share it with, he'll make all the goddamn money in the world and become the fourth trillionaire and get all the credit. Doesn't sound like he was yeah, doing anything really bad. Evil. It's evil towards me. Everything is going dark. Now put <laughs> your crimson asses up above and send that heartless good son of a bitch to hell where he belonged y you do know poopty of course of course if we do kill him though and he ends up down here you know you will be stuck with him forever oh trust me i'm counting on it that's kind of hot <laughs> Gee, I wonder whose house this is. And to your right is the home of famous inventor Lyle Lipton. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do it, gang. Let's kill this rich guy. And here you'll find three tacky stalkers about to attempt <laughs> a murder. Things like this can happen to famous people all the time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, that machine really did a number on him. Goodbye, my one true love. <laughs> All the riches of the world can't fill the emptiness I'm feeling now that my shitty old body can't do anything of value. Oh, fantastic. He's going to do our job for us. Should we go in there and tie it for him? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, and the cherubs get in the way. Oh, Lord, I'm being haunted by ugly orphan children now. Who the fuck are they? Oh, no. Sir, those are cherubs, Mr. Lyle. I hate filthy, stinking orphan children. We're here to convince you not to kill yourself, sir, to grant you a blessing on behalf of those in heaven benefited by your amazing technological advances. Oh, hell no! Don't listen. <laughs> Lipton, it is our <laughs> he could use the door. That you should continue the process to commit die. I mean, what did you expect to do with all this money? Now you're old and gross. Is that a <laughs> gross. question? He can help 
spread his wealth around with the people of the world. I don't think he wants to do that. Good with it and be so fulfilled. Uh, no. He could pay for new hospitals and schools. He's not going to. You let me die. Oh, sounds like you need help off and yourself there, buddy. Moxie, what do we got for this fella? I have some assault weapons, crossbow, hunting bow, Tommy gun, old fashioned shotgun, revolvers in three colors, chainsaws, katanas. He's classier than that. There were still plenty <laughs> He does he's desperate at this point. Smells like he ain't been out of bed in months. Look <laughs> beautiful at any age. And we'll show him. Yeah. yeah. No. no. Look around, love. God's gift of nature is a wonder to behold, regardless of age. Or and all he can see is the economic progress. Life, you'd be missing all of this. Mm -hmm. You're gonna buy that load of shit from a baby and the sheep it fucks? <laughs> that is so inappropriate! <laughs> That's his whole point. Anyway, take it from me, a fellow genius. Nature is no picnic up close. Rip it to shreds. Stop looking. I can't stop. I've never wanted to die more than I do now. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Let's check out someplace else. <laughs> Got it. Oh Lord, where are we now? Oh, let me perish! <laughs> I'm here to show you another thing life is worth living for. Childhood of wonderment. Why? Look at those sweet disease-ridden vermin. <laughs> their joy comes from innocence unspoiled by the burdens of adulthood and their middle-class existence. Such simple Don't joy eat it. they have. Damn it. It is inspiring. Thank you for showing me this. Hey, dip shit! You wanna see whose lap you're sitting on? <laughs> This place reeks of teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> Look out, sir. We're here to remind you about possibly life's greatest joy of all. Money. No. Love. <laughs> I've never been in love before. Except with money. It's quite nice. It's not too late, sir. You can still find. Ha! <laughs> nice try, ugly. Hey, horny lovers! Which one of you would fuck this old man? <laughs> Get the frick out of there! You know, you three are so utterly c cruel. We're just trying to give hope to someone in need. Oh, and you three are so superior to us just because we want some selfish, greedy, authoritarian capitalist to keel over dead. <laughs> You're making things too real now, Moxie. <laughs> just a bottle of piss. <laughs> How do we make these pay? We can't. There's literally nothing bad about opera. That's fact. Unless we ruin it somehow. <laughs> He's not very good. <laughs> Boom! And I spent it all on this. <laughs> you gotta go. You are all such disgusting, loathsome beasts. Your kind is nothing but dirt that shitty dead people tread on. And now you're trying to meddle with the lives of humans? So are you. So why don't you shut your trap, you judgmental, cotton candy, tit having bitch? Filthy demon! Mm. Time to get to work. More so than usual. There we go. Let's go. Oh, come on. Oh, 
starting to make sense now. Life is worth living because we only get one. We must cherish it. If creatures far beyond this living world are going through these lengths of life, <laughs> then certainly it's worth living. Killing myself is not the answer. Plus, I'm still rich. I could just buy all the things. I no longer crave death. Those two are gonna get shot. Yep, yeah. <laughs> one of them. Oh, he's. in the death of a human. I'm afraid you can't re-enter heaven, Ian. Uh, what? Yeah, mm, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, yeah no. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. But we didn't mean to. We never. It was all. And there wanted to live again and we didn't kill him so we failed thanks to those fucking cherubs he's probably up in heaven now so it's a shame all our client wanted was eternal revenge on his business partner and now the two are forever separated and now we got to face the fire of fucking up sir when are you going to tell the client oh i already sent him a text and we're in good hands because texts don't make people angry let's <laughs> <laughs> just get out of there real quick Sofa. we can explain everything i was Ow! Oh, there he is! Lyle Lipton? I don't understand. We thought you went to heaven. Heaven? You don't make millions in technological advances and robotics by not experimenting on the poor. <laughs> oh, you no good, heartless son of a bitch! Thank you for reuniting me with my best friend. The only question now is what do two old genius robotic inventors do now that we're in hell? Did someone say I say inventors? Well, perfect! I forgot about this guy. And I am looking for creative new people to exploit. I mean, employ. Everyone, stop fucking up my walls! <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix all this shit. <laughs> Chill out, Moxie. If you kiss my ass any harder, you'll go right inside me. Say you yeah. walls. First we deal with heaven's table scraps, now this. I guess you can say you say you have a holy operation here, Blitzo. <laughs> Yo, it's silent. Get out. <laughs> I say hope. No, I'm serious. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Next! Episode 5! Still going strong and no signs of slowing down. Uh. <laughs> Great. I'm sorry for having to move our little rendezvous early. I have an engagement <laughs> in the full moon. When this happens, it's not really something I fuss about. But do you really need the book for this farm bullshit? I have like 15 new clients waiting for heads to roll. As shocking as it may seem, Blitzy, my grimoire is actually incredibly important. And it isn't supposed to be lent out to itty bitty imps like yourself. Oh. The Harvest Moon is a very special occasion. It's been my annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. It's celebrated by a very charming little festival with the locals. Wrath, huh? My employees are from there. I've never really been. I hear it's full of inbred chuckle fucks. Oh, why don't you all join me at the festival? I can guarantee you all special access. <laughs> Look, I told you, we're not bodyguards, okay? That was a one-time thing we did badly. I'm simply offering a work-free day of fun. 
I feel quite safe at the Harvest Festival. It's the same every year. Well, if you promise this isn't some fuck fest invite, it does sound like it could be a blast and a half. Plus, it's not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. True. Oh, I'm sorry your clients will have to wait. Oh, fuck my clients. <laughs> what do you want, sir? Hey, hope I didn't wake you, Mox. How would you and Mills want to visit the Wrath Ring for some harvest bullshit this year? The Harvest Moon Festival? <laughs> we fucking all! <laughs> well, Millie likes the idea. Wait, where are you calling from? Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Daddy! Aww. Oh! How's my deadly little pumpkin spice doing? I'm good, Pa! Thanks for letting us stay here for the Harvest Jamboree. It's no trouble. We know you aren't making as much anymore since y'all went freelance. <laughs> freelance pays fine, Ma! We're doing fine. It's fine. It's fine, don't anyway, ask questions. Y'all remember my husband, Moxie? Greetings, yeah, of Joe, course they wouldn't be fans. Been, uh, with all the flaming twisters and stuff around here. We lost our old farmhand to one of them terrors last week. <laughs> oh, oh, crumbs. My bad. <laughs> I am so sorry. I didn't mean to open that wound, sir. Hey, watch it. I'm the sir here, bucko. Oh, yeah. Y'all haven't met my boss, Blitz, and his hellhound. I'm not just his hellhound. Yeah, she's my daughter. Only on paper. <laughs> Y'all don't deserve to know my name. It's a pleasure to finally meet the sperm <laughs> and egg factory Luna. that popped out this little gem of an assassin. You two raised a sturdy bitch. <laughs> that we did. So, Blitz is it? <laughs> That's a fine name. It reminds me of war. Uh, nothing like a little <laughs> war to make a strong man. I like you people. You know... More battles were won by technological advances in oh, warfare. No. I've researched the history of weaponry extensively, and it's inspiring how, for example, the progression of guns utilizing angelic technology has changed the landscape of Hell's combative. I mean, nobody cares. War fun. Guns get the job done, but a man ain't nothing if he can't tear the head off a hellish beast with only his bare hands. <laughs> He's right, Moxie. You got cute little baby hands like your baby did. Refrain, sir. Speaking of strong hands, y'all should meet our newest help. Hey, Striker! This name is familiar. Well, howdy. Oh, looky here. You must be the famous Mildred. Heard some good things about you from I am familiar with the voice actor as well for this version of Strike. What are y'all doing so far away from Imp City? Huh, the free work and finally slowing down? Oh no, freelance isn't free, it's a... Never mind. <laughs> We're just visiting for the festival. The prince is our boss's boyfriend. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. <laughs> huh? Oh, so you're the bold imp that started his own killing biz. Yeah, well, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. Not many imps start businesses on their own. That's pretty impressive, sir. Oh. Yeah, it is. I, I guess... I guess it is, isn't it? So you even conned that ditzy blue blood into getting you to the surface? Well, it's long and complicated, but the short answer is yes. <laughs> but he's not like, you know, we're, we're not, like, we're not doing a... We, the, what's They're doing it. Transactional just get, fucking. just rip the bandaid no. off. You boys should enter the pain games. I heard games. What games? I'm in. Every <laughs> harvest festival, there's a competition to be the roughest, toughest bastard in Ram. Yeah. Wish I could play. Millie, you know you get too carried away. The last competition ended in 15 separate funerals. I'm aware. Is that the but point? I'm only cause nine of them. How come Sally Mae still gets to compete? Your sister doesn't have a neighborhood head count. She so does. It doesn't count if they don't find the body. <laughs> still, you get True. to root for her and your brothers, and now you can cheer on your boss. You know, <laughs> she can also cheer for me. <laughs> Wait, you? Yeah, 
I could compete, can't I? Fair <laughs> boy, but I don't think sensitive thespian types would last very long in the games. I was born here, too. I have some fat in me. Huh. Well, then, little fella, won't you help me wrangle one of them hogs for dinner? Simple. Watch me. Nah, with these. Bullets can't pierce a shell. You gotta get the knife underneath and pry yourself an opening. Oh, right, right. Uh, I knew that. Now, just remember, your rep with the in-laws is on the line here. So no pressure at all. You totally will not make an ass of yourself in front of everyone important in your life. Go thanks, Blitz. <laughs> oh, Mox, you don't need to do this. Oh, he totally does. Take it ass, Moxie! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, jeez. My clavicle. Don't worry, little one. You never stood a chance. Hey, boss man. You want to help the men skin this thing for dinner? Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the manly man. That's what she said. <laughs> jeez. Wait, what bitch is talking shit about me? <sighs> don't let him get to you. And hey, you don't need my parents to respect you. They will eventually. No, they won't. What? I'm right, ain't I? Oh, I'm entering those games. <sighs> How pissed would you be if I bet on him dying? Slightly miffed. How kind, Quackfoot. Greetings, tiny wrath ring imps. I hereby welcome you all to another year of celebrating the spoils of your labor that continue to feed the citizens of hell. I'm happy to kick off the start of these games that will challenge the toughest imps to show their skill and dominance. Good luck to you all. Especially that sexy little one there. <laughs> Ooh, Blitzy. Ah. Fuck me. <laughs> the E is silent. Jeez. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Shark! We have a tie for winner of the Harvest Moon Pain Games. The winners are Striker and my darling Litsy. Just say my name right, fucking dick. All right, so he has the physical advantage. I'm better at other things, like singing. I'd like to take this opportunity to sing a quick song I wrote just now about me winning. <laughs> gonna be nice working with him. Working? What? Yeah, I asked him if he wants to join IMP. You asked? But... Mox, I think you've had enough for now. Let's head back to the house and get you clean. Mox, you go fuck yourself. Did you hear something? It was just the way. Mmm. 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 Yeah, don't mind the nightmare, it's fine. What you looking at, Moxie? What we got going That's on here? Troubling. Oh my crumbles. Genuine 
Carmine crafted blessing tipped rifle. How how in the fuck did he get one of these? Why don't you ask me, little dude? Shit! Well, why do you have this, mister? You are aware this kind of weapon can kill demon royalty. Yes, that's mm. no shit. That's kind of the point. Okay. While I, I'm, I'm relatively concerned by your possession of this, I'm also glad my instant dislike of you has been validated. Uh. Use your brains. y'all but I feel like there's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't plus you little things ain't worth the cleanup yeah. Millie oh Satan Moxie I'm fine I got worse than this during the flower toss at my brother's wedding but I caught that fucking bouquet and it was fucking worth it you just have to get out there and fuck up that brown nosing cocksucker for me but I can't break through it I'm not strong enough not with your hands baby use what you're good at I'm not good with my hands <laughs> oh, oh. Right. yeah yeah I, I probably should have used this earlier huh <laughs> I love you hood but for fuck's sake. <laughs> My dear commoners of the Ring of Wrath, I, Stolas of the Ars Goetia, hereby curse this year's harvest with the glow of the true harvest moon. <laughs> uh, excuse me, the fuck? Liz! I thought you were still at the ceremony. You thought I wanted to stand around with a bunch of hillbillies excited about corn and shit with a thirsty owl on stage? Hmm. Now you seem disappointed in me. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of someone I offered a job to about to off my easiest lanky ticket to Earth behind my back. Liz, come on. You know the two of us are superior than most of our kind. And you were so above sucking on a disgusting, rich, pompous Goetia only to sneak topside for scraps and work for bitter sinners who could care less who you are when you could be slaying overlords. Why struggle to run a business that is rigged against you when you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable? Starting with the one that treats you like a plaything. Ooh, that's kind of hot. <laughs> we could be the most dangerous beings in hell, Blitz. Wow, that was a good fucking bitch. Been workshopping it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm in. Huh? Took you long enough, Mox! Haha! <laughs> wow, you should have seen your <laughs> shit face. Whoa, whoa. Okay, cliche much. Oh, you daddy fucker! Hmm. <laughs> For as much of an ass as Blitz is, he's pretty good with it. You dumb fucks lost the upper hand fast, oh. huh? You seem to have forgotten something, bucko. <laughs> oh, fucking damn it, Luna. <laughs> damn shame, Blitz. We might actually have made a good team. Oh well. In your wet dreams, you hockey talk. Mmm. <laughs> Still think it's embarrassing. You're wasting a lot of potential relying on a weak little. You gonna finish that fucking sentence, partner? <laughs> <laughs> Who's weak now, bitch? Get Ow. Here. Maybe 
you'll get me next time, Blitzy. Let him go. I can't believe for now. you let him trap you, Millie. Haven't we taught you better? I was seeing red, Ma, and he was slippery. Excuses. You're better than that, Mildred. You know, she protected me. And maybe I'm not a strong, beefy dickhead. But Millie has the strength enough for both of us. You two are getting on a case about being hurt by a psychopath you hired? Shame on you. <laughs> oh, Boxy, look at you. Speaking like a big boy with his <laughs> big pants. Wow, he nodded. He's never acknowledged your input before. <laughs> so, is that progress? Slightly, I guess. Uh, I failed to kill the target at the festival. But don't worry, ma'am. It won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating prick dead. I don't care who you have to go through. Make it happen! Understood. Wow. I'll get him next time. <laughs> Talk about dysfunctional. Sweet Moving right along. We've now reached episode six. We're almost to the old finale, and then we'll get to the new finale. And then I can actually get to season two on my own time. <laughs> right there. This was the first sighting. They are definitely from hell. They must use this dark magic to cross over into our world. <laughs> and they seem to be killing specifically targeted people. But why? They always attack at random. Oh! over the country. There's no way to predict where they'll show up next. Or they're just right there. Oh, well, that's convenient. Remember, we can't be seen. Pardon my words, sir, but you're currently being the loudest. I said shush your dick-sucking lips, Moxie. Get that off his friggin' face. Get out! Tuxedo wearing fox. <laughs> I'd like to see the suits at corporate corners loses now. That was pretty badass. Super badass. was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until... Open the fucking portal now! Mm. They aren't here! Don't worry, you've got a hellhound. It smells like they went this way. Come on, let's find the dumbass twins. Finally awake, huh, little fella? Your partner has been for a while now. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers in the college I dropped out of. Also, I've been strapped nipple first to a car battery, so I, oh, okay. Hella steaming scum. Who do you work for? Satan? How did you get to our world from the afterlife? Why are you killing humans? When did you show up here? Okay, it's I'm gonna his... stop you right there, bitch. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock. And I'm still feeling fucking woozy, so I'm gonna request you fetch us some coffee before we get into this. I mean, everyone gets coffee in shitty movies with scenes like this, am I right? <laughs> I want something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more cappa than chino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture otherwise. And make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. 
I hate that. If you can't handle that, I'll have a venti traditional misto. Please use soy milk with two blonde shots, affogato and ristretto. I'd also love three vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after, then add Enough! Some <laughs> Please. <laughs> Wow, I was getting massive douche chills just there, Mox. Congrats. If we have to, we are willing to resort to torture methods to get answers out of you nasty hell beasts. When you say torture, do you mean physical or psychological? Physical seems counterproductive. We would likely tell you anything if it meant an end to the pain. And you would have no way of knowing what was true. Or we might like it too much, and then you've got a whole new thing to deal with. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Ah, oh, you're stupid, huh? I could work with stupid daddy likey dummy. <laughs> It's hard to resist. I'm really sorry. I mean, considering your approach thus far, you've had us tied here for what? Hours? And you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are. What are you? I'm a Virgo. We'll <laughs> <laughs> whip out of you and we'll shut you up. Oh, getting cakey. <laughs> we aren't playing any of Isle Demon Kicks. I mean, that's what it sounded like back there, you sickos. Please don't give them ideas, sir. Why not? I know the shit you're You got a good bonding moment going on here. It's nice. Calm down, one. Don't let these monsters get to you. Hey, aren't we going to get our phone call, bitch? Well, that entirely depends. Who are you going to call? Hmm? Your fat mom begging her for a fat time. Let's <laughs> try, demon. His fat mom is dead. <laughs> Yikes. This where they ended up? I think so. Fuck, this looks intense. How are we gonna get in? Lift me up to that van. Perfect. <laughs> oh, please. They know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Damn, you're pretty agile for an old lady. I'm like five years older than you. Stop insulting my mother! She's dead! Hey, hey, let's just leave them here until they feel like talking. <laughs> until they feel like talking. <sighs> Don't worry, Mox. If we keep being obnoxious, they'll eventually slip up and we'll get a chance to get out. Let's just keep fucking with them until they get so frustrated they stop thinking clearly it usually works. Hmm. So the demons want to play games, huh? Well, we could play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm just worried about Millie. She'll be on her way by now, I'm sure. Ugh, she'll be fine, Moxie. It would take a roided up hippo to take down that woman when she's upset. We've never dealt with the human government before. She's in danger. Uh, do you ever honestly shut up about Millie? It's always, oh, how's Millie? I can't tonight. I'm hanging with Millie. I'm so worried about Millie. And she's always five fucking feet away from you. It's pathetic. That was oddly personal. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why the fuck I just let my guts spill like that. Sir, they're filling this room with something. Fuck. What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth-telling serum. Oh, you just guessed that's what it is? Well, uh, just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait! <laughs> oh, fuck! Why that? <laughs> I knew it. Well, your suit is tacky. Fuck, I'm sorry. <gasps> How fucking dare you? You have shitty taste in music! I'm sorry! <laughs> Shit! Taste? You said you liked that musical I recommended to you. I lied. I left halfway through. You you said you loved it. It was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cats. Oh, <laughs> I've said so many lies to you. <laughs> this is going to be a good night. <coughs> Damn it, Moxie. This is all your fault. How is this my fault? And now they can't see straight. Wonderful. Blitz? <coughs> I, I can't see you. 
God, this smells awful. What's that music? Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say- It Satan... is no prank, bitch. Hey, why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy, Stop it, are sir. tripping balls. <laughs> No, what? How could this be? I've never tried acid shrooms or DMT. It's a bad trip. Oi, Gavalt! Of course, Blitz, this would be your fault. My lungs are full of honesty. Would you promise me that you won't judge? Yes, bitch. Not trying to divulge too much, but I'm in too deep. So, first of all, fuck you! This is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay, because if you're here... Getting some Hamilton vibes here. I'm you in your hallucination. Dial tone going right through again. Why do you hurt me so? I know. Why must you I push my friends, my friends away? Why does it seem like a recurring thing that you alienate with your toxic routine? I don't know. Eventually, everyone goes. Because you're thoughtless and cruel, and you'll end up alone. Mm. And, my dear boss, you don't know what you are doing half the time. And you depend on me and the missus to manage your foolish flights of fancy. I don't need I can do this shit on my own so easily. You sure about that? Mm. Yet you still shove away anyone who gets too close until they resent you for being a selfish shitty shit. Switch. Why have you held your true feelings inside? I am scared of rejection. Why, Moxie, why do you have merely put it in your body? It gives me an <laughs> erection. No. <Hey>. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Accept your true feelings, so promise me that I can do to, to be, be true. true. The world is your anus, so peg it with honesty. Oh. I've been a jackass, it's true. You've been a jackass, but it's soon true. Soon as we're back as ourselves, I, I will be, be a, a better, better friend than I was before. Be better at speaking my mind. Something tells me it won't. We'll just keep this together. Together, we can begin to become fine. And now we get back to the murder twins here. Try one. God, you are so bad at your jobs. Just 
Do you remember what you said to me after my first day with the company? Not really. I remember. You told me I did a good job and that you were proud to work with me. I feel like you wanted to say something more judgmental, but you said that because I needed it. And it helped. Look, I'm hard on you because I know what you're capable of, Mox. You care too much about what everyone thinks, except for me, because, you know, my opinion is correct. But just <laughs> keep doing a good job, okay? You shoot and kill good. You escape things easy. You can be strategic and cold-blooded when you need to. And don't expect any more compliments. I'm maxed out. Thank you, sir. You know my name. Use it. Thanks, Blitz. Oh. Meanwhile. My Millie. Impressive work, Mills. How'd you get here all by yourself? Get your asses out here before more fuckers show up! Time to have some fun! Okay, I've had one too many emotions for today, guys! Let's fuck these fuckers up! Yeah, just let loose. Let's go. Off with your head. Off with your everything. I don't think your ninja stars are gonna work anymore now. <laughs> that other guy's just alive with none of his limbs. likes to work more with her hands. How about some water? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Blitz. No problem, Millie Billy. Who wants some quality time with Daddy? <laughs> He's got quite the pile there. Hey, Mox. Oh, wow. Really going for the dick there, ain't you? Here, I got it for you. Now hold this. Oh, yeah. Get Perfect. Oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, crumbs. Is everyone okay? That's not good. Come on, fam, let's blow this cocksicle joint. <laughs> Quick, the book! Shit, I can't. I can't read the spell in this light. I can't see Dick! Well, shit. Looks like we milked this weapon tit dry, and now we're out of badassery. <laughs> you demons are going anywhere now! But neither are you. Oh. Who dare threaten my English little lady? Who said that? 
<laughs> Agent O. <laughs> What's the matter, Demon Hunter? Never seen a real demon before. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I stole this. <laughs> stole it? Well, well, hold on. How did you know that we needed help? I have my ways, darling. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine, Stolas. Mm, good. How the fuck did you get caught by humans? Are you little creatures not being careful up here? You know, if you get in trouble, I get in trouble. We don't want that. They caught us yes, off Mr. guard. Yes, Mr. Stolas. Yeah, you can unclench your bird puss, Stolas. It's not going to happen again, okay? Luckily for you, most don't believe the word of the demon-obsessed lunatics. They are seen as kooks. <laughs> kooks. Such a silly word. <laughs> now, let us all return. Yes, please. I'd like to get back to the correct hellhole as soon as possible. Am I going to get any thank you for the rescue, Bitsy? Well, I suppose you should. Want me to fuck your brains out tonight? Very much so. <laughs> all right, but you're keeping quiet or I'm using those bear traps. <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Do. Uh... We finally got the evidence we needed to be taken seriously. Hmm. Nobody in corporate is ignoring this. Hmm. <laughs> Next, the faux finale before we get to episode eight. Don't you dare finish a filthy pun in my presence, Moxie. Besides, drinks are on me tonight. Let's hit up the new dive down the street. Actually, sir, it's our one-year marriage anniversary. So I'm taking Millie to Ozzy's in the Lust Ring. <gasps> Ozzy's? No way! <sighs> that place is always books. Yeah, well, I've been planning it for quite a while. Moxie! <laughs> uh, you, can you do not? And you and Stolas, I mean. Maybe another time. No, it's fine. I, I can come with the two of you. Help you celebrate your boring as fuck monogamy. Uh, no. The reservation is for us. Uh huh. Just us. Mm hmm. Without you there. Explicitly without you there. I'll wear something nice. It's a big deal after all. <laughs> Not <laughs> listening. Yeah, See you freaking all. Relax, sweetie. Don't let him get to you today. Let's just go home and clean his blood off. <laughs> Moxie's one lucky imp. Blitz, can you just leave them to their own devices? Whoever you are, go for it. 
Hey, Looney. Just want to let you know I'm not going to be back home until real late. I got something important tonight. Something tells me it's not going to go quite the way anybody is planning, so... Oh, yeah, I'm with those two. This club is for couples only. It's what? No mm -hmm. date, no reservation, no entry. Y you know, you have really nice eyes, Daddy. <laughs> Good luck with that. It only works on the bird. You fucking prude! Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of the bird. <laughs> the miserable, miserable bird. <laughs> Sad eating a cereal and watching a soap opera. That's a mood, Gabriella. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, Blitzy. Stolas. Hey, you, uh, are you busy tonight? Um, why do you ask? I was wondering if you want to come with me to a club tonight. Are you asking me on a date, Blitzy? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose that is what's happening. How fast can you get down to lust? Immediately. Can be ready in 20. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. See you soon. I'll see you, Blitzy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Blitzy! I'm here. <laughs> wow. That's a bit overkill, don't you think? <laughs> it's stolen. Well, well, it's either I, this or I'll nothing. It's a little nicer for you. This is our first real date, after all. Oh, yeah. I guess this is, huh? You again? Beat it, shithead! Ahem. Do we have a problem? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, my apologies, your highness. Uh, please, go right in. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, no. No, but yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Needs the books. How Wonderful. romantic is this? What made you choose such a place to bring me? Oh, it just sounded like I just thought we'd have a blast here, you know? God. <laughs> have where? <laughs> Seriously. Gotcha. Oh, Blitz, what are you looking at? I'm looking at nothing. How about that? Can I get you to, uh... I mean, start you two off with some drinks. Yes, and um, perhaps some wine to The innuendos share. are going to be freaking everywhere in this. Red wine or white blitz. Or perhaps some champagne. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> perhaps all three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, blitz, how was your day? Huh? Oh, uh, good, I guess. We killed a bunch of beardos. That sounds fun. God, he is so How amped up. Did you kill them? How? I, I mean, there was a lot of them, so I don't know, bullets. Right, right. So, what made you decide to ask me out after all this time? Uh. He just needed you. Ladies and gentlemen, I see some sexy faces around here tonight. Welcome, welcome oh, this guy to again. Parties. Lust Rings, number one place for all kinds of sick, twisted fantasies. Put on display for all you sleaze and sleazes. The gem joint of Osmodius himself. Come on, give him some love. Did he just say Osmodius? Oh, no fucking way. Not him. I am the one and only Fizzerali. Some of you might the actual the guy this time around, not the the robot or anything. Toy -botic replicas yeah. Across the rings of hell, gloriously designed by the big man himself, and uh, ribbed for your pleasure tonight. 
We have a great lineup for you tonight. The Rasika Mayday, Wet Dream, and the Squirters! <laughs> but as everyone's warming up, I got a funny one for y'all. Did any of you hear about the bat shittery that happened at Lululand? <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh, wow. You know, I'll tell you what, I'd sure love to shake the hand of the crazy son of a bitch who decided to burn down that off-brand shithole and then slap a fat subpoena in it, because I'm very much looking uh, to sue. Mm. Robo-Me made us more money entertaining those kids than the ones we sell to get you freaks off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean! I have four of them! <laughs> okay, keep that guy far away from me. So, without <laughs> wasting any more time, our little opening act is a fresh one. Coming at us from a little imp from the Wrath Ring, give it up for Moxie! With no creative stage name whatsoever! Aww. Hello, everyone. Oh, <clears throat> hi. Uh, thank you for letting me be here. It's an honor to play. Uh, hurry up, bullet. Uh, sing, boy. I say, I say. This song is for my beautiful wife, a surprise for our first anniversary. Aww. I love you, Millie. I love you more than the brimstone loves the fire, more than the Elsa loves her bub. Mox is my favorite. Gangrenous stubs. You make my spirits sing. Yeah, you make me glad I live in hell. Our love is a story sweet to tell. Yeah, you cast a special satanic spell over my heart. Love is a journey we decided to start. Yeah, I hope we'll never ever be apart. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you, 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 Give me a thrust. Mm. You show me some love. From the groin to the bust, in desire we trust in the house of Osmoria. Trumpet. Hey, little imp, you came here to sing your serenade. Perform your feelings on a velvety stage. Well, we got a saying that's popular in these parts. Only little bitches strum the strings in their hearts. You want to hang around this lustful town? Ditch the lovey dovey before we knock you around. Here we sing about wants and desire. Depravity, savagery, loin hotter than fire. So give me a thrust. And isn't it the best love the one that's genuine? From the groin to the bust, little imp, you just must in the house of Osmodia. I mean, the song slaps, yes. I do not like its meaning whatsoever, in contrast to what Moxie was trying to put out there. Be sure to rhyme song and schlong. Go ahead, your mic's on. I want to. Yeah, what do you want? Butt stuff, piss play, bondage. Make gentle love to you. Uh, what a lip dick imp. You really killing the vibe. Get a load of this dweeb and his unsatisfied ride. Hey, man. I've watched those two pork many times. What? <laughs> what? Honestly, they make missionary look relatively exciting. That Blitzo? So you're showing your face? Hey, everybody, this guy's a total disgrace. Some nerve you got to comment on a relationship. Last I checked, your love life is a pile of shit. Oh, Blitzo? I used to date. Oh, Veronica. Ah, great, this bitch. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Who's that at your table? Is your date a demon prince? Stolas, is that you? Are you sleeping with an imp? My dark lord, how the mighty do fall. You used to have a smoking wife, a kid, you had it all. 
I hope you didn't give it up so you and him could get it up. You sold mm. your life for a thrust. Now that's the spirit mm. of love. Grab your groin or a bust. You better get your hair bust. Pretend you don't see that crust. Hop till you jump to the dust. Probably shouldn't have come here. I'm just gonna make that little claim. I think you were trying to sing something for me, Mox. Yeah, I was. I love us. I love us just the way we are. Don't have to pretend to like to do things we don't. I've always got you around to laugh at my stupid jokes. I'll never take you for granted. Just as long as those two are happy, it doesn't freaking matter. What anyone else freaking says. Cause I love you. Cause I love you. Mm. Yeah, this was a mistake. Alright, let's just let's just leave. Oh, right. Of course. Mm. Oh, ain't that just such a happy display? It sickens me. Get the fuck out. <laughs> it's very cramped. Van. Thank you for inviting me out tonight. Despite everything that's happened, I, I enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. You know, I have some more wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could. I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm really just. I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk, or watch a movie, or maybe. Cuddle? Solace, don't act like what we have is anything but you wanting me to fuck you, okay? You make that really clear all the time. But I mm. just, I, I can't do it tonight, okay? I'm sorry. Mm. Okay. Good night, Blitz. Night. Mm. You forget when the biggest asshole actually does have emotions, it kind of hits you differently. was one way for it to end, I guess. Now we get to the new end. What Luna was doing, I guess. You want me to drop you off here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this looks right. I, uh, haven't been here before. I'll just say this, the furry community loved this episode, probably. Tex! Yeah, hey, thanks for inviting me. Of course, of course. Hey, everyone, meet the new face. You want to drink anything? So many dogs. Yeah, totally. And then there's those three. Uh -huh. 
OMJ. Luna? Lunatic Luna? That you? Uh, yeah. It's Luna. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe you're showing up to another party. I mean, do you even remember the last one? I'm sure you'll remind me. Yeah, this? This you, right? Why do you still have that? It brings me joy. You know, you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy. <laughs> wow, you're being really negative. Yeah, <laughs> this really accent is right now. Oh, yeah? turning my Maybe stomach inside out. The presence of a massive fish. Oh, my dog. Wow. What? Is that not an okay thing to say? Like, come on, it's true. Yeah, that's what a female dog is called. Did I miss anything? No, no, no. <laughs> no, nothing. No. <laughs> How are my dirty bitches doing tonight? See, she said it. It's fine. Y'all ready to party with the queen bee of gluttony. Come on. The queen bee of gluttony. Oh, yeah. That fits too well. Tonight, and this bitch about to get fucking wild. Let's get it started. I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Just want to put that one out there real quick. Yep, I know this sound. This was all over the freaking radio when I was in middle school. Yeah, I, I, again, I wouldn't touch any of that food. The extra arms are just a little bit off-putting. Just gonna put that one out there, too. The, like, mane and tail design, though, is pretty cool. Though I would say the bee relation to a wolf wasn't what I was expecting, but it's interesting, I'll say that much. Twitch doesn't block all of this. Yeah, again, don't drink any of that. As you can see in the eyes and the foaming. It's like you're in the wrong crowd. Essentially. I mean, it's the eyes that's throwing me off there, guys. Wings as well. Too hard with the confetti this time, though. I have like a rainbow in my vagina right now. <laughs> oh, hey, is this the sweet pup you told me about? Excuse me? She's a fucking cutie. Where you been hiding, girl? <laughs> is there something funny? <laughs> nah, I'm just really high on all this tasty energy right now. Tech says you don't get invited out much. I hope this itty bitty get together can serve as a fun first time. Mm -hmm. mm. I would have thrown a bigger one, but I couldn't convince Belfagor to let me break into her stash of party drugs. 
So fucking lame. I mean, I usually just steal them, but Belle changed the locks. She says I'm a total jackass for trying, but hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. <laughs> anyway, yeah, B, this is Luna. Luna, this is my girlfriend, B. Nice to meet you, bitch. Oh, this is... Mm. She's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Tex, you didn't tell me she was hilarious. That's so funny. Right. I love that she's that's hilarious. The first thing you say to me, you don't give a shit how freaky you come off, and that's fucking beautiful. You are my new favorite person. Am I though? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> no, really. Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, <laughs> ooh, boy, you are hot as hell. But then I wanted to die because it was so awkward. Because he's more like a brother to me, you know, but not actually my brother. So I guess it was fine. I could hit that. Don't. Anyway, girl, you have a good time tonight. Get some sweets, get some eats, drink it, tear it, fuck it up. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, honey. Thank you for coming. Do you need anything? Are you having fun? Are you good? Are you <laughs> the guy good? in the funnel. Okay, good. Okay, good. Don't mind him, he's just drowning. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? Why? You just got here. At least one drink, right? Nope, you really wouldn't like me after one drink. Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, Blitz. Mmm. But Papa hey, Blitz is here. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to go. Hey, that sounds like Blitzo! The O is silent, asshole! <laughs> hey, I knew it was you! Fuck, man, where you been? You, you here for the party? No, no, I'm just here picking up my daughter. Oh, shit, you have a daughter now? Adopted! Man, you're already leaving? Things just got started. Come in and show us all up again. No, no, thank you, but I think Looney wants to head back. Uh, howdy, next to you wants to leave? Watch it. I mean, we could stay a little longer. I think we need to go. Okay, I think it's been a long night. Well, these people seem to know you. Come on. I think I want to give this another try. Please. Uh, okay, fine. Maybe one drink. And he's gone. Blitz, blitz. Challenge for you. Oh, he's gonna die. Alright, let's do this. From B's personal supply, the hardest shit there is. You ready, my man? Oh, born ready! Bring it, Barky! I will drink you under this fucking table. You have no idea what kind of night I've had. <laughs> There's just one thing about this. Alright, shit talker. But there hasn't been a soul yet who can beat me at my own game. So you better bring the fire, baby. Oh, is Queen B too scared to lose to a little imp like me? Oh, okay. Let's get it on, you little bastard. Come on, Blitz. Fuck her up. You can do it. Yeah, he's just going to town. in a while that was magical seriously impressive i tip my crown to you imp boy respect ow, ow. something's gonna happen here they're still going Hey, Loon, I don't mean to be a buzzkill here, but your, uh, dad, guy dude, is, um, he's seeming a bit... Out of control. Like, a mess. 
Yeah, it's worrisome. You uh, mm. maybe check on him or something. What? No, no, Blitz is fine. He's always a mess. Trust me. Look, honey, I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time. But he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose. So I feel like you should check up on him at least. Just see if something's up. Just give him a quick Don't look. Don't act like you know him like I do. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had like four tongues inside him at once. I mean, good for him. But I can taste the flavor of people at my parties. And it's giving off a very not okay vibe you know oh yeah and i bet you'd know the okay vibe right i mean everyone likes you so much what's that supposed to mean is that a problem mm. don't follow me <sighs> sorry yeah nope i'll uh i'll check on it uh sorry sorry i know i got a little spicy there i just hope everything works out now let's dance Blah! Right, right. What the fuck Blitz. What are you doing, Blitz? This guy. It looks like you're in the middle of a goddamn orgy. Stop. Look, I didn't expect you to come in here and see any of this loony. I'm so sorry, but it's a party. I'm just having fun with. Uh, fuck is your name again? Dennis. Price on a stick, you would be a Dennis. <laughs> fuck away from me. I'm not fucking a Dennis tonight. <laughs> Monica or Alejandro in here. Stat. Better. <laughs> you don't need anyone else sucking your face, freaky weirdo. You need to drink something other than Beezle juice. Uh, no. A stiff glass of water would probably suffice. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, like I said, stiff glass of water. I had a really shitty day. Oh, yeah? Is that why you drank like five gallons worth of who knows what? Fuck, Fizz was right. I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Just a wrinkly, old, weathered waste. Will you be there, Looney? Beware. Uh, it's, it's lonely. I won't die alone. I'll be there, Dad. Aww. Now go the fuck to sleep, okay? Slowly and <laughs> there it is. Fuck. Yeah, I did need to throw up. <laughs> I'm not cleaning that up, and I don't think anybody else wants to. Well, I'm going to say, as far as a first season, this was quite the experience, to say the least. And to have it completely in front of me is very nice as well. I'm curious as to see how season two will go. From what I've been told, it's not as, like, self-contained, not as serialized as season one is. There's more of a coherent storyline to it, but... As some guy who had his opinions of it very much soiled by the children of VR running around as these characters, it's nice to have a palate cleanser, if you can even call Hell of a Boss a palate cleanser in any case of the word. But I do like what I'm seeing here. Having gone through the entirety of season one, I can tell you my favorite character is Moxie. I'm interested to see what the heck is going on with Stolas and his freaking relationships and everything. Blitz is just an absolute asshole and I love him for that. And Millie is a sweet being that must be protected at all costs, but we don't need to worry about that because she's pretty good at doing that herself. Needless to say, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I can't wait to see what season two has in store for me going forward. So, that's it for this entire freaking video that we binged from start to finish. I'm glad that Mina and everybody else suggested me to see this and everything. It was not 
what I was expecting, but I'm glad I still saw it nonetheless. So I'm surprised. I would be surprised if any of you haven't seen it, but if you haven't seen it, check out Vizipop for the pilot for Has Been Hotel and both season one and the continuation of season two of Hell of a Boss. You can most certainly say that it has that Catholic seal of approval from the Catholic himself, which is heavily ironic to say the least. Check out Poco Podcast and meet a bunch of wonderful individuals talk about all things Pokemon. Now that Scarlet and Violet are out and the DLC is on its way, we have way too much stuff to talk about. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, check out the Discord, the Patreon, and that is it. And with that being said, I will see you guys when I see you guys, and as always, toodles.